Hi guys, I'm Anupa from Kefi Blossom Designs and this is the Kefi Christmas Tree Block. This is a foundation paper paste block and the pattern for this block is free and can be found in the fifth issue of Quilt Stories. Now Quilt Stories is India's one and only quilting magazine. It's a treasure trove of information. Make sure you check it out. You can download it for free from the link given in the description below. Now in this video, I will not be covering the basics of foundation paper piecing. I have two extensive tutorials in my channel. I will link these tutorials in the description below. Now using this pattern, I have also made this table runner. The dimensions of fabrics used to make this table runner is also included in the magazine. It's a pretty straightforward and simple project. In case if you wish to make this, please refer the article in the magazine. But for today's video, I will be making this Christmas bunting. Now for this bunting, I have used pastel shades. But this project is such that you can really use up your scraps and experiment with fabrics. For example, in this block, I have used my scraps and created an improv block for the tree's body. You can use multitude of prints. This is a Christmas themed print. Here I have fuzzy cut a flamingo. Very cute. This is another example of using up your scraps. Here I've just combined few strips to make the tree's body. You can also experiment with fabrics. Here I've used golden zari fabric. I like the way it catches the light. So basically this is a scrap friendly project. Now let's move on to making the bunting. These are some of the prepared blocks. You can make any number of blocks as per your preference. Now when you look at the pattern, you will notice this dotted grey line. This is the line that will help in creating the shape of the bunting. Next, it's time to create small quilt sandwiches. Here I'm taking a layer of batting or wadding. You can also use fleece or any kind of interfacing. This will just help in achieving a crisp finish. Next, I will take a backing fabric and place it right side up. And then take my blocks and place them right side down onto the backing fabric. Now I'll take them to the sewing machine and sew along the dotted grey line. Now after stitching on the dotted line, the next step is to trim the excess fabric and batting on the top along the edge of the paper. Next, I will trim around the stitch line, leaving an excess of quarter of an inch. Now it's time to rip the paper. If you find it tedious to rip the paper, you can use a simple tweezer. Just grab a corner and pull. Next, we need to make notches along the seam allowance. Just fold it as such and snip. We have to make these kind of notches all around, especially at these corners where there are multiple layers. If you find it difficult to do it this way, what you can do is make a snip first then fold it along the snip and trim. There you go. Now I will make the remaining notches. You will notice that there is an opening up top. Using this opening, I will invert this. As I'm doing this, I will tuck at the stitch line very gently. I will repeat this with the other blocks also and give them a good press. After the press, this is what it looks like. At this point, this is just like a mini quilt and you can quilt them as per your preference. You can make as many as you like, it's up to you. You can arrange them any way you like. Here, I'll just add a pink one. The next step is to join them using a bias binding. For the bias binding, first I will fold it in half and give it a press. This will create a central crease. Now I will fold the edges towards the central crease and press. And then again fold it in half. 
This is how the bias binding is supposed to look like. Now take the prepared blocks and place them within this crease. And stitch at this edge. Again placing the block within the crease and I will use these sewing clips to hold them in place. I will place the next block about an inch away and clip. Now I will stitch at this edge of the bias binding. One point to note is that I have kept excess binding at the ends. This will help in tying the bunting wherever it needs to be displayed. Now I will take this to the sewing machine. Now our bunting is ready to be displayed. You can further embellish these with maybe tassels or embroidery or some beads uh, and of course you can quilt them. You can even display them along beautiful lights. It's totally up to you. In case if you like this pattern, please give it a go. Again to recap, the pattern for this block is free and can be found in the fifth issue of Quilt Stories. I have linked the magazine in the description below. Please check it out. It's definitely a wonderful read. And hope you found this video useful and until next time, bye-bye.